Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Tuesday, which means I'm here with this sex symbol himself, the one and only <laughs> Matthew Cluley. How you doing, Matt? You okay? Yeah. Rocking the cherry cap, you will. I love my cherry cap. I know you do. How you doing, buddy? You okay? I'm good. You? I'm very, very good. We're back with another Matt test. This week, we're doing one of mine. Oh, no. You don't know. People don't believe me when I say this. You don't know. What is that? It's called Level Up. No, have I know you... I can see that. It says it on the box. You've what not seen it? this at all, have you? What is it? Well, I'm going to show you in a minute. The, 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 we're going to do a mat test on this. I'm going to show you one of the routines with it. Okay. Get your opinion. Yeah, but what is it? I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to do one of the routines with it, show, you what, uh, show it you, and then we're going to break down to everybody what it is, what you get, and show some of the other routines. Because you know what I'm like. I, I kind of... How, did you know this existed? Um, yes, because he's in the marketing yes. team. Yes. He was messing around Why with Why don't them. I ever find out about anything until after they've been released? <laughs> is it released been... yet? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's actually been released. People ask me all the time, what's, well, what's Craig got coming out next? And I'm like, genuinely, I'm the last fucker to know. You are. No <laughs> idea. Bless Absolutely you. no clue. Bless you, cotton socks. You are. You are. Um, I'm going to show you one of the routines with this, okay? And is that it? <clears throat> yeah, this is it. This is it. So, genuinely, this is true. This is one of my hook lines when I go into this trick, but this is also true. I travel a lot and I no don't drive, shit. I don't drive, so I travel on train an awful lot. And when I go anywhere, I normally take my switch with me because it's something that I can do when I'm on the train or I'm backstage or in a minute green room or something. It just slips into my I rucksack. Know, I've seen yeah, you. I know you've seen me. So what this is, <laughs> this is what I use to keep some of my favourite switch games in them. And I know you play VR, you don't play uh, Nintendo Switch, but I'm sure you've we heard of some of these. VR. You know, like, <laughs> you, you know, you've got Zelda, I'm sure you've heard of Zelda, you might have heard of Minecraft heard if you of hang around Ryan at any point. Yeah, I've you heard know, of you, you, you've heard, heard of Mario. Heard of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them you might not have heard of, like, I don't know if you've maybe heard of, uh, you know, Luigi's Mansion might be one that you've not heard of, some of the Lego stuff you might not have heard of. But I'm going to show you something with a couple of my favourite games. Now, this one here is called Crazy Chauffeur, and this is uh, kind of like, it's it's... A little bit like Crazy Taxi, but oh, yeah. uh, if you, do you remember Crazy Taxi from back in the day? No, no okay. Uh, and this one here, we'll use Quest for Corbis, which is uh, kind of like a role-playing game. Have you ever seen Quest for Corbis before? No. Okay. We'll use those two. Um, you can check them out. Make sure they're okay. Make sure there's nothing. I mean, they're just Please? they're just they're just game cartridges at the end. Well, of the day. to be honest, I've never played a Switch in my life, so I don't know whether they're. Do you do you, do you have a Switch? <laughs> um, I don't. But Does I'll, that look I'll, like I'll a Switch one. game to you? It yeah, should. Have we not seen the switch? It should do no, because small. it the should switches. do because it is. <laughs> but whatever, 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 whatever. Okay. Okay. So to make it easy to follow, we're not going to refer to them as Crazy Chauffeur. We're not going to refer to them as Quest for Corbis. As you don't know what these games are, we're just going to, because this is predominantly purple and this is predominantly blue, we're going to call them purple and blue. Let's do that. Well, it makes it a little bit easy to follow what's going on, right? So I want you to watch very carefully because I'm going to go really slowly. Nothing in my hands, just the two, just the two cartridges, right? I'm going to go really slowly. I'm going to take the blue one and put the blue one over here, right? So where's the blue one? There. So you missed the switch. That's fine. Most people do. It's not a problem. That's, that's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You missed the switch. It's cool. Is that a pun? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it again because you missed it. It's fine. Like, I'm going to go really slowly. Pur purple and blue, right? I'm going to take the blue one and put the blue one over here. Now, nothing happens until I do that. When I do that, that's the move. And that's when they switch. Just like a switch, they switch. Look, let's look. I'm going to go really slowly. Purple and blue. I'm going to take out the blue one. Okay? So the blue one goes over here, right? Where's the blue one? Now, I want you to win this time. You know the answer. Where's the blue one? Where's the blue one? I really want you to win. I genuinely want you to win this. Look, I'm going to go again. Where's the blue one? Helping. Where's the blue one? There. So we're saying not here. <laughs> it's like a switch. Where's the blue one? It's well, there. Where's the blue one? There. Oh, so you missed it. Switch back. That's fine. It's not a problem. Um, <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. <coughs> no, I'm going to let you do it yourself, okay? I'm going to let you do it yourself. No, I, I am. I'm genuinely going to let you do it yourself. Look, 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 look. Let me, let me go really slowly. Look. Put your thumb and your forefinger together. I'm going to take the... Uh, uh, the purple one. Can you hold it like that between your thumb and your forefinger? That's perfect. And just wave it over the blue one like a little mini magic wand. Say go. Go. You're so good. <laughs> I mean, so good. 
<laughs> so good. That's really uh, annoying because I can't see what he's doing. One last time. Hold Stop that, hold, it. Hold out your hand. I'm going to do it in your hand. Like really slowly. Can't, can't, can't get any fairer than this, right? I'm going to go really slowly. One, two. Okay, I'm going to go really slowly. Make a fist. Turn your hand over. Now, uh, let me in your thumb hole. Ooh, that's what she said. Uh, kinky. Kinky, 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 kinky. I'm just going to take one out. There you go. Make a tight fist. I'm going to do this with one hand so I can't cheat. What do I have? Blue. What do you have? Purple. Look, all I have to do is that. Did you see it happen? No. You didn't see it happen. That's when it happens. Have a look. I don't know. How does he do that? That's <laughs> cool, isn't it? Tell you what that reminds me of. Yeah. When we used to sit here back in the day and you used to show me stuff with like coins and things and I had no fucking idea how it was done and it used to blow me away. That I'd get the same feeling from that. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how this works. I'm gonna tell everybody how this works. I'm going to show you. Oh, it's your trick. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's your trick. That's it's what I do, don't I? Like, I, I was like, hold on, we can't do that. Cut. Because anybody who's, it. <laughs> anybody who's watching this, I want them to have their eyes wide open. I want them to, you know, I want them to know exactly what's going on with this. So I'm going to tell you how it works. I'm going to tell them how it works. But but one minute, because before I do, there's a couple of questions. This got released a couple of days ago, and there's a couple of questions that people... it's been released for two days. Yeah, and I've just found out that it exists. Yes, there's a couple of questions that people have had about this. I, I, I don't want to say concerns, but a couple of questions. Okay. So I want to address the questions, and I want you—I want you to give this a review and be completely honest with you. Oh with Christ. It. But first of all, let me uh, explain one of the things that people are concerned about, or not concerned, but they've asked questions about. How do you justify the props? Now, let me let me kind of go through this. I'll, I'll explain how it works in a minute. But I, I've kind of said to people, how do I justify the props? Well, very very simply, first of all. As magicians, we kind of, if you're performing professionally at a gig, you don't really need to justify the props. Like, hey, if, if it's acceptable to bring out a pack of cards, which nobody carries around with them, or three pieces of rope, or a little metal cup with a little ball under it, or a sponge ball, yeah. then this is just another prop that you bring out. So you don't have to justify it if you don't want to. But I personally think this is really easy to justify because... Uh, all you have to do is do what I said, which is, hey, I travel an awful lot. I've got a ton of games that I play on my Switch. Everybody knows that a Switch is portable. I carry this around with me. These are some of my favorite games. Have you seen any of them? And you're into it. It's an interesting hook line. Yeah, my if Switch you... is in the green room. Yeah, my Switch is in the green room. Because I caught the train here. Now, some of so if you wanted to, in a presentation I've played around with in the past, which works really well, is you can talk, uh, is uh, I, I say, hey, you know what? One thing I like to do is I like to sit around and create magic. And my kid the other day, his name's Ryland, he's my son, he challenged me to create a trick with one of his, pro uh, one of his toys. And he gave me this, and these are some of his favorite switch games and he said can you create a trick with them yeah. and i actually came up with this trick and i thought it was so good i actually now show it to everybody when i'm booked to perform would you like to see it my son is responsible for this because it wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for him challenging me how to do this which is a yeah, really cool works. and if you haven't got a kid you could say a nephew or a friend of the family yeah, or yeah. a neighbor or something any of that works or you could lie and say you've got a kid because you're a magician and that's what you do for exactly a now one of the pr one of the tricks on the <clears throat> on the tutorial is actually based on uh you don't bring the case out you get the case with it you don't bring the case out with it you get the case with it yeah the case comes with it yeah uh, you don't uh bring out the case instead the presentation is you bring out a deck of cards and you say look People ask me how I create magic tricks, but it's really simple. I use this principle. I've got 26 cards here, and they've all got different things that you can do as a magician. Like there's teleportation, there's penetration, there's this, there's that, there's the other. And these 26 cards, they have on them 
um, uh, different props that you could use. We, uh, you know, you've got really weird and wonderful props like a pen, a, a phone, a pencil. And then I just do a force on this packet and I go, I do a crosscut force and I do a crosscut force over here and I say, right, let's have a look. What am I doing magic with? A Nintendo Switch cartridge? Okay, that's kind of weird. And what am I doing? I'm doing an appearance. Okay. And so then I make the cartridge appear. I go turn over the next one. Oh, it's a transpose. It's a change. So I then change it into another cartridge. It's a vanish. Then I vanish it. So there's lots of different ways of justifying it. And a couple of people said on the cafe, um, "Well, you know, everybody downloads games now. No, they don't. You know, if everyone downloaded games, shops like Game wouldn't exist. You know, Ryland doesn't have any downloads on his Switch. He buys all of the games here, and he just has them in. These, these are actually. Do you download games or do you buy them? A uh, bit of both. So you still buy games? Yeah, yeah. yeah most, most people do. Everybody knows what this is. So I don't think from a justification thing it's an issue. But I'm going to explain how it works now. And then we're going to perform a couple of the other routines with it. Okay? Okay. So what it is, some of the games here are real games and some of them are fake. What you'd get with Level Up is you get the case and you get uh, some fake Nintendo cartridges. Okay. Now, I'll show you the ones that you get. These are fake. You get three fake cartridges. Now, these are designed to be sounding like real games. Penguin Paradise, Quest for Corvus, and Crazy Chauffeur. Those aren't real. These are the real games. Those are not the real games. These right. have been, I, I started off the process to make this about two and a half years ago. I started off by getting Steve Rowe to 3D print these for me. And then when I went to Penguin, they ended up injection molding it. And these look, and I, I want you to, I know you haven't seen them before, but I want you to see that these look pretty much identical to that. Like that's a real cartridge. That's Mario Maker 2. That's fake cartridge. You can have a look at them, you know, pick them up and touch them. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. Yeah, they're pretty close, aren't they? Aren't they just? Shit. Haven't, haven't Penguin done a fantastic job of them? Yeah, they really have. Now, the other thing is, do you notice something weird with them at all? Hmm? You don't notice anything weird? This is the other point that people made. Do you, you don't see anything weird, no? No? About what? Exactly. So, the other thing that we had to do is because Nintendo are a copyrighted company. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we went with <laughs> Nintendo instead of Nintendo. Yeah. I have performed this now for over a year and a half, and I have never had anybody go, that's not a real Nintendo uh, logo. Nobody ever notices because it's just on that small Until you just drive. put your finger on it, I didn't notice. Nobody ever notices. And these games don't exist. There's no such thing as Crazy Chauffeur. In fact, um, Penguin Paradise is called Penguin Paradise because obviously it's a penguin game. Penguin, Penguin Paradise, makes sense. Quest for Corbis is called that because um, the penguin, the little penguin that's on Penguin Magic, his name is Corbis. That's the name of his Oh, mascot. I didn't know that. And Crazy Chauffeur is called Crazy Chauffeur because Sean Dunn picks up all of the acts that come into Columbus from Penguin and the team call him a Crazy Chauffeur because uh, he drives crazy. Um, so uh, that, that's why those three are called those, those names. But... One thing that somebody said on Facebook is, oh, people will know they're not real games immediately because they won't recognise the titles. Um, and honestly, people don't because there's hundreds of games that have come out since the Switch came out all of those years ago. No yeah. one's going to know the name of all of the games. I wouldn't know anyway. Exactly. And even if you're a gamer, like you're a gamer, mate, you're a gamer and you've got a Switch, you wouldn't know the name of every single game that's ever been released on the Nintendo Switch, would you? You wouldn't be able to. Exactly. I just want to address all of the stuff that I've read online, okay? But if you wanted to, you could very easily just put a sticker over those. Absolutely not a problem. If you wanted to, you could just, you could have a sticker designed, um, or you could actually very carefully peel off a sticker from a real game and put them over. If it was an issue to you, which it shouldn't be, you can put stickers over there. So you can go to a design company, have them make a Zelda game, have them make a Mario game, and have them real games. But there's absolutely no point. Now, the other thing that you get is the gimmick. This is the gimmick. And in essence, what this is, is this is a double-faced coin. Now... <laughs> That's annoying. Well, that allows you to do so much. <laughs> so I just have these games inside here. When I want to do the beautiful thing about this is that doesn't take up hardly any space, does it? No. This it fits literally into your 
I spent ages sourcing the right type of case for this. It literally just fits into your top pocket. It takes up no space at all. This is in your uh, in your side pocket. When you want to do the routine, I just open it up. I show them the games. I take out the two games that I'm going to use. In this case, these two. And uh, I have them examined. Have, or, or you don't even have to examine them. I don't say examine them. I say, have a look at those. Have you seen those games before? I then just switch one of... I switch one of the games out for the double sider i just put this away and i ditch this into my pocket and now i've basically this is self-working because this one here is a double sider i can literally well look you can do it yourself watch hold out your left hand you've got two games right you've got the purple and the blue mm -hmm. close your hand turn your hand over with your other hand take out the top one and put it on the back of your hand that's it now without showing the other side put it in this hand that's it and now all you're going to do is when you close this hand you're going to flip that over but yeah and then turn this hand over open both hands you've just done the trick it's that <laughs> easy there's a little bit more to it but that is in essence all you're doing uh, and there's various different ways of doing that it's so easy to do and you've got this incredible transposition less people carry coins around with them than ever before what this allows you to do is carry around uh, stuff that people recognize um, and, and being able to do really visual magic with it. We've designed the label so that it looks really visible even from a distance. Now, you can do tons of routines with these. You want to see a couple of the routines that you can do? Go for it. Okay, you talk to the camera for a minute while I set one of them up. Hello, camera. <laughs> That's not awkward at all. Uh, <laughs> How not... many Switch games are there, Jack? <laughs> oh, thousands. Literally thousands? Yeah. Because if there was anybody that I would know that would know every game for a console, it would be you. I don't think anyone in the world knows every game for every console. And if you're saying that there's no way of knowing every game for a Switch... Okay, so here's another trick that you can do with it. This is a really fun trick. This doesn't even use the case. So with this one, you say, um, I'm going to do something with your imagination, all right? I'm going to do something using your imagination. Semi-violent. No, no, seriously. <laughs> this does use your imagination. So I have here, if you can use your imagination, this is an invisible purse. Okay. okay. And inside the invisible purse, I've got three. This is where I keep my game cartridges, but they're invisible, of course, uh, when I play Switch. So I've got three Switch games. I've got uh, Quest for Corbis, that's that one there. You can see the label, it's purple. You've got this one here, it's one of my favorites. It's called Crazy Chauffeur. That one there's got uh, a blue label. And I've got this one, Mario Maker 2. That one there's got a, a yellow label. So I'm gonna put them in front of you. Mario uh, Maker, Quest for Corbis, and Crazy Chauffeur, okay? What I want you to do, when I snap my fingers with your right finger, push one forward. Remember, you've got the uh, Quest for Corbis, we've got Crazy Chauffeur, and we've got Mario Maker. Push one forward. Which one did you push forward? The middle one. Which was Crazy Chauffeur. That yeah. one. And then I'm going to do it again. Uh, so you've, you've pushed Crazy Chauffeur forward. We've got Crest of Corvus and we've got Mario Maker. Push another one forward. Okay, interesting. So that was Mario Maker, right? So we've got Mario Maker for Quest for Corvus. One last thing. When I snap my fingers, pick one of those two up. Okay, was that was that one that one over there, Crazy Chauffeur? Yeah. yeah. So that leaves Mario Maker on the table, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that inside the purse. I'm going to close it shut, and I'm going to put that right there. Pass me that one. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put the other one here. Now, so far, everything's happened in your imagination, right, Matt? Let's see if we can turn imagination into reality. You can't see that game cartridge, can you? Because there's, there's nothing to see. It's impossible. The, the people at home can't see it either. But if you use your imagination and you really imagine you can see that crazy chauffeur, then you can start to see that that really is crazy chauffeur. <laughs> now, this is all about our imagination. If we stop imagining, even for a split second, it becomes invisible again. Now, if we take Quest for Corbis... You can't see that because obviously it's invisible, right? There's nothing to see. But if we take Quest for Corbis and we just use our imagination, that purple label of Quest for Corbis, that becomes real as well. But it's all about using our imagination. The second we stop imagining, even for a split second, it starts being real. Now, if you remember, this one here was uh, Crazy... Uh, cra sorry, what was that? Crazy Chauffeur. And this one here was uh, Quest for Corbis. I'm going to put those two away in my pocket we don't need them but do you remember at the very very beginning 
Uh, we put one in the purse. Do you remember the purse that we left over there? That purse that's been there from the very beginning. Do you want to open that up and have a look inside there? And that's what you have inside there is Mario Maker 2. Um, so it's another kind of way of using just a double-sided... Um, I didn't see you move the purse. That's really annoying. Yeah, well, it's, it's just it's, it's held out in... Uh, I, I go through... I just had it on my knee here, but... I in didn't the, see you do it. No, because the focus is on putting the... Uh, the I used to... I used that trick in a competition act years ago when I entered competitions regularly. This was uh, my opening piece in the competition act. I didn't use switch cartridges back then. I used a copper silver coin, but it's still in essence the same routine. What I've basically put on the project is I've put all of my favorite routines with copper silver coins. I've never done a copper silver coin project before. I've done all of my favorite routines with copper silver coins. Um, all of them. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there it is. So I've done all of my favourite routines with copper silver coins, but I've just basically um, used switch cartridges instead. This is a really cool one. Check this one out. This is really fun. Watch. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do something here. This is a piece of nothing, right? I'm going to show you something with this piece of nothing. I want to imagine that this is a game cartridge. Not just any game cartridge, but my favourite game. Crazy Chauffeur. There it is right there. You can see it, right? If I take another piece of nothing... I can turn that into one of my other favorite games. That one there is Quest for Corbis. Now remember, we've got Quest for Corbis over there. We've got Crazy Chauffeur over here. Now watch, if I take Crazy Chauffeur and squeeze, they change places. Now I've got the purple one, Quest for Corbis there. I've got Crazy Chauffeur over there. Anytime I squeeze, they can change places. If I've got Quest for Corbis here, over here I've got Crazy Chauffeur, right? Now this is kind of interesting. Try and keep an eye on that one, but keep an eye on that one. If I take the purple one and wave it over the purple one, uh, sorry, wave it over the blue one. The blue one vanishes. If I then take the uh, the purple one and squeeze, the purple one vanishes. The blue one's over there. You can probably see it. And the purple one is right next to it. You couldn't see that as well. But look, I'm going to take the purple one here. I'm going to take the blue one here. And I'm just going to push them together, blow, and fuse them into one cartridge. <laughs> Have a look at that. That is such a fun routine to do. But I, I, you're a mentalist, right? You can do mentalism with them as well. One of my favourite things. my brain. One of my favourite things. Did you like that? Did you like that? It's, yeah, I love it. It just fries my brain trying to follow that. <laughs> so one of my favourite things that I do with this is you can do a... Uh, have you ever seen the old prediction thing where... Uh, you probably haven't because you, you wouldn't have any reason to see it. So what you can do is you can have... This is a great way to start the set. You can have a prediction... You need a two-way out prediction. I go through how to do that in the project, but you need a two-way out prediction. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say, for example, um, uh, you just got a, a Z Fold wallet, or you've just got a, a, an envelope with a double-sided card on it, or whatever you want to do, right? Yeah. Million, million different ways of doing a two-way out. And what you have is you have a whole bunch of games in here. Now, if you don't own any Switch games like you don't, you can go to somewhere like CEX, and, or, or you can go on eBay, and you can buy old Switch games for like two or three quid. And you can just buy a bunch of Switch games. Most of the routines just need what comes with it. But if you want to, uh, if you want to do uh, routines like this, you can buy a few old Switch games. So this is really cool, right? So what you do is you take Crazy Chauffeur and you take um, I of all this out, and you put instead a whole bunch of different games. And your two way out is Quest for Corbis and uh, and, and and Crazy Chauffeur. So you can't have one upside down. Sorry. Upside, so, so I would have a double-sided <laughs> card. One side would have Crazy Chauffeur. One yeah. side would have Quest for Corpus. Yeah. That goes into an envelope, and I put the envelope down on the table. Right? Yeah. This is what it would look like. I'd say, look, Matt, I've got some of my favourite Switch games in the side here. There's a whole bunch of them. Some of you might have seen. Some of you might not have. Uh, we're going to try and do something here. I'm going to take them all out, and this is going to be pretty cool. I think you're going to like this. Do me a favour, pick them all up, grab them all in your hand like that. And we're going to, you're going to shake them up and chop them on the floor, on the, on the mat. Whichever one's land face down, we're going to eliminate them. Okay, chop them, chop them. Okay, so we're going to get rid of all of those, those have gone, those have gone, those have gone. Great, do it again, do it again. And we're going to keep going until we've got one left. Okay, so we've got rid of that one as well, do it again. Okay, we've got rid of those, do it again, do it again. Okay, so what have we ended up with? Crazy Chauffeur, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then you open up the prediction to the correct oh, side. Oh, I've just realised what you're doing. Yeah, exactly, because it's double-sided, fucker. right? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, how fair is that? I mean, that's an old bit that was done with the double-sided coin. Um, but there is so much that you can do with these. Um, there's a really, really easy hopping half style routine you can do with them. My favorite routine uses a, uh, one of my favorite routines uses a purse frame, um, which we haven't got here, but I've got a purse frame on my desk. Would you like to see it quickly? Yeah, sure. Okay, talk to the camera for a second. I'll be back. Tell them a joke, tell them something about me. You know, some people think I'm a bully, tell them I'm not. I'll be back in a <laughs> I am not getting involved in all that crap. Okay, I'm back. How you doing, Matt? Did you tell everyone how awesome I was? <laughs> oh yeah, he's all right. Thank you. So <laughs> this is super commercial. You'll 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 really <coughs> like this, I think. Um, so do you know what one of these is, Matt? It's a purse frame. Matt, it's an invisible purse. Right. Sorry. It's an invisible purse. <laughs> Very difficult to get one of these. You gotta you gotta go to a magic shop. Uh, if they trust you and think you've been in magic long enough, they'll take you through into the back I won't room. Get one then. And, uh, and I don't want to be taken into the back room by a magician. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you do go that into the that sounds back, terrible. When you do go into the back room with a magician, they're going to give you one of these. This is your like rites of passage. This is an invisible purse. Now the whole thing's not invisible because if it was, you wouldn't be able to see it. But the bag is invisible, which means that anything inside the bag is invisible until you take it out. Uh, I use it to keep my Switch games in because I travel an awful lot. I have no space in my pocket, so I keep all of my Switch games in here. I've got over 100 Switch games. I can just reach in and take whichever one that I want to. Let's say I want to take out Crazy Chauffeur, which is one of my favorite games. I would just reach in, think Crazy Chauffeur, and that one would come out of the invisible purse. You see, that's how it works. Let's say I wanted a different game. Let's say I wanted, uh, I don't know, let's say I wanted um, Quest for Corvus. What I'd do is I'd just reach in, I'd think Quest for Corvus, and I could bring out Quest for Corvus. I really like that game. That's one of my favourite games as well. So I can keep games in there, and I can, uh, I can, I can, I can do that. That's, that's like a really fun thing to do. But here's the thing. Check it out, right? Watch this. Watch this. If I wanted to take uh, uh, Crazy Chauffeur and put it back in, for example. Now Crazy Chauffeur is back inside the invisible purse. This is the cool thing. Do you see Quest for Corvus? Watch if I do this. It turns into Crazy Chauffeur. Do you know why it turns into Crazy Chauffeur? The reason is, uh, Quest for Corvus is now inside. Did you miss that? They, they switch places. <laughs> Let me do that again. Do you see anything inside the invisible purse? No. It's because there's nothing inside there. But if I take Crazy Chauffeur, that's this one, put it inside the invisible purse, it's there. Can you see it? No? No. Uh, what's that one there? That's the purple one. It's Quest for... Corvus. No, that's Crazy Chauffeur. You missed this. I did the switch again. You see, now inside here, I've got... Uh, qu it's, it's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Here's the interesting thing. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that one. I'm going to put that one away. There it is. Look, there you go. Crazy Chauffeur goes away. I'll put it away in my pocket. Uh, it goes away in my pocket. Uh, what does that leave over here? It leaves Quest for Corvus, right? But watch this. If I put Quest for Corvus in and I just snap my fingers, now I can switch it for uh, Crazy Chauffeur which was in my pocket. But if I put Crazy Chauffeur back in again and I snap my fingers, now I've got uh, Quest for Corvus, and that's because up here I've got, uh, uh, oh, there we go, I've got uh, Crazy Chauffeur again. Isn't that weird? But in all honesty with you, I mean, Matt, I keep everything in there, like anything that I need. If I want my Switch games, I keep them in there. I keep all my tech in here. If I want uh, my AirPods, for example, all I have to do is snap my fingers and I can pull my AirPods out of there as well. Anything I need, I can take out. I mean, you can imagine that to a spectator. By the way, I borrowed your AirPods when I was in there, Jack. I hope you don't mind. You've got Jack oh, better freaking mind. get them back. <laughs> Are they your AirPods? <laughs> yeah, well, they've got my name no, on them. Jack on them. That's a clue. <laughs> I could go on. There's a ton of stuff on the project. There's a, a variation of hopping halves. I know you do hopping halves. There's a really yes. good... Actually, should we do that one quickly? Because I know you like hopping halves, don't you? You actually do hopping halves. I can, I can just... That's the one I can do. And it uses all of those shells. And it's, 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 it's a bit annoying, isn't it? All of those shells. Um, so let me show how, how I do uh, uh, hopping halves when I do this. So it looks like this. So I have uh, all these different Switch games here because I, I travel a lot and I carry my favourite games with me. I'm going to use two of them. We don't even need to worry about what the games are. Uh, have you seen them before? You've not seen those games before? No. We've got uh, uh, Quest for Corvus and Crazy Chauffeur, two of my favourite games. Okay. We'll refer, because that's like more of a predominantly purple label and that's predominantly more of a blue label, we'll call them purple and blue. We won't use the rest of them. 
I'm gonna make it really easy to follow. Are you ready for this? I'm gonna put the blue one over here. I'm gonna put the purple one in my pocket. What does that leave over here? The blue. Yeah, but it's the two cartridge trick. You see, it uses two, you have gotta remember that. It uses two cartridges, the purple and the blue. You missed it, I'll do it again. Look, I'm gonna take the blue one and put it over there. I'm gonna take the purple one and put it over there. What's over there? The blue. And the purple. You missed it. It's the, <laughs> you gotta remember, it's the two cartridge trick, man. I could get, look, here's the thing. Every single time I put the blue one over there, every single time I put the purple one over there, I just have to concentrate, and that's when they go back together. That's how it works, right? And I can do it over and over again. Look, there's the blue one. There's the purple one. All I have to do is snap my fingers. I'm gonna keep doing this until you like it, man. It could be here a while. But I'm gonna go really slowly. Watch, there's the blue one. Blue one goes into my pocket. What does that leave over here? The purple. Until I snap my fingers and then the blue one comes back. It happens every single time. So I've got the blue and the purple. I'll do it one last time. You can decide which one I'll put in my pocket. The purple one, the blue one, which one do you want me to put in my pocket? The blue one. The blue, that would be Crazy Chauffeur, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put Crazy Chauffeur in my pocket. What does that leave over here? The purple. Should we do a card trick now? <laughs> So no shells or anything like that, just three cartridges. And, you know, I mean, that, that, so I, I haven't even scratched the surface of what you get with the project. I wanted to show people. How many hours of tutorials? Three. Is That's um, not too bad. That's only like just and, under and, half and a like day's work. 40 minutes of that is me doing slights. If you've seen the Magic Button project where I do a bunch of slights and then I, I do all the explanations, it's the same thing. So I break down a lot of the individual slights. To be honest, a lot of the stuff is really easy to do. The main routine that you saw me do right at the very beginning that fooled you, that's pretty much self-working. You can do that almost immediately. And it, so it's examinable at the beginning. It's examinable at the end. It's an instant reset. It's props that people are actually used to seeing. They know what these things are. Um, and it's honestly what I think. I think this is going to do to coin magic what Keymaster did to moving holes around in stuff. Because... <laughs> I do. Is it an actual genre? It's a Moving genre. holes it's, around in stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a genre. It's a, it's, 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 it's a thing, right? Um, but I, I wanted to, like, A, show... I'm very much into letting people know what they get. Uh, that's really important to me because I want you to buy something from me and have it with your eyes wide open. You had no idea how this worked. Um, as I say, the thing that people have brought up on the Magic Cafe is... Uh, you know how to how to justify these, which is totally not a problem at all. And how do you justify anything as a magician? They wanted to know the quality of the props. Well, um, you know, you tell. Be honest. You, you tell. You know, that's a normal. That's Zelda, and that's that's a that's that's a gimmick one. Well, they look the same. I mean, I don't I don't play games. Like I'm not a a Switch user, but I mean, he's the one to ask. I. Can't see the difference. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, I wouldn't drop them like that. Yeah, the only difference is if you lick them. Why? Nintendo Switch cartridges are coated with a special substance, so they taste horrible when you put them in your mouth, so that kids can't eat and swallow them. It's got a, it's a thing. When the Switch first came out, do you know this? I don't. <laughs> yeah, when the Switch first came out, here. <clears throat> lick that. Don't lick it, man. Have a lick. Just lick it. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nintendo Switch cartridges have got a special thing on them, so that if kids put them in the mouth, they spit them out That's immediately. Disgusting. Yeah, it's got a horrible taste. Um, the gimmicks. <laughs> Is that bad? Picture of the one that I licked. That one. No, you're yeah. you're right, Matt. Lick that. I'm more right, thanks. Lick it. I don't want to. Jack, lick it. Or what? <laughs> Oh, I'm surprised you didn't really know want, that. Lick it. Do you really want to lick it? Please. Fucking lick it. Fuck's sake. Do I have to? Yes. Just, just lick it, Jack. Not that bad. Tastes like crap, doesn't it? <laughs> what do you mean it's not that bad? Tastes like crap. Oh, you just licked that. You gave it me. <laughs> you didn't give it him to lick. <laughs> and told him multiple times yeah, to lick it. told him multiple times to lick it. It don't taste good, does it? No. But the, uh, the ones that come with Level Up don't have any of that substance on it. So that's the main difference, right? Um, and then the other thing that people asked about was the label, which is why I wanted you to look at the label 
And look I can at see it now. Yeah, you can see it now. But if you don't know what you look at, I, like, I haven't been I've able to not see it since you pointed I've it out. I've literally performed this for a year and a half, and nobody ever sees anything. It's a little bit like a Mark deck. It's a little bit like something like a Vogue or a Mindbox. If you know what the marks are, you'll see it. If you don't know what they are, you won't see it at all. Um, I didn't see it until you put your finger on it. Yeah. When you went, look at that. And then ask me because to, ask me it's to see designed what the, to look like the Nintendo logo. It does look like the Nintendo logo. But the thing is, if you don't like that, you can literally just have a sticker put on it. Now, uh, now, uh, uh, what are their names? Uh, Penguin. They can't give stickers out. What are their names? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Penguin can't give. Uh, sorry, Penguin can't give stickers out because obviously they don't want to get in trouble with copyrighted. Is it about no wearing a Murphy's hat? That's no, fine. Uh, you've turned it backwards. It's fine. Um, there you go. <laughs> uh, but but it doesn't stop you from making a sticker. You can easily mock together a sticker in Why seconds. would you bother? But I wouldn't bother. I, I, like, I've been doing this for a year and a half. At no point has anybody said, hang on a minute, that's not a real game. Or hang on a minute, that's not a real cartridge. Nobody has ever said that because they're designed to look. And it's not about the cartridge. You're not saying, have a look at it. Remember the name of the game. It's like, hey, we'll take that one and that one because that one's purple, that one's blue. They'll contrast really nicely to each other. That's the focus. The focus is on the colours of the cartridges. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do you think? Well, I don't know how you do it. Well, I know how you do it now, but I still don't know. The, like, even though I know how you do it, because it's a double-faced cartridge. So, yes, you still don't know. I still don't know how you do it. <laughs> so I thought we'd do something fun, and we'd do like a matchumentary season two point five, just a mini matchumentary, just over a couple of weeks, because you don't do anything like this. I thought I would teach you how to do level up. And I would teach you how to do a couple of the routines from Level Up. And we'd take you to a place where there's real people and get you to perform this and then get the reactions. And then like, oh, I'll, no. go, I'll go through and just see how you do with it. Because oh, you are no. a complete novice when it comes to sleight of hand with small objects like this. It's not something that you do at all. No. And I think it'd be a new string to your bow. It'd be an interesting thing to do. Um, it's not like a big matchumentary. Oh my God, this is it. But I just think over a couple of weeks, teach you how to do the, uh, how to do this trick, and then get you performing it to a few people. Maybe start off by getting you to perform it to someone in the office, then somebody like maybe Tam next door, and eventually get you to perform it to a couple of real people at a gig somewhere. Fancy it? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So on the surface, I know you don't really do magic like this, but I don't, be honest, what do you think? It scares the shit out of me. Why? I'm up to number six on the mem deck, by the way. Well done. Thanks. That's only uh, 50, uh, 40, 40, 44, 48, what, no, 40, 46, 46 more to go. It's better than 52 though, isn't it? So what's six? Huh? You said you're up to six, what's six? Oh, uh, six of diamonds. Very good, what's three? Uh, seven of diamonds. You're doing great. Keep it up. That was correct, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you're, you're doing great, yeah. Testing, yeah. Well done. What's number five? Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Five is the four of clubs. Four of spades. Four of... Four of clubs. That's number one. Four of clubs is number one. Four of uh, hearts. Sorry. I knew we'd get that right <laughs> I knew it was a four. Remember, you've got to learn it both ways. So when a lot of people learn a mem deck, they learn, they, 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 they learn it so that they hear the card and they know the number. A lot of people forget that you have to know it the other way around as well. So you hear a number, you've got to know the card. Yeah. Uh, so remember, when you're learning it, learn it both ways. But you're doing great. So what would you give this? <laughs> what would you give this? Um... Oh. Um, what do you mean? Out of 100? Yeah, percentage. Normally, <laughs> 79? Yes, yes, normally 79, yes. You wouldn't do this. Actually, it's your it's mentalism not something trick that I would normally do. I do like the mentalism trick, actually. It's quite cool. But I've got a feeling that's not the point of this. Um, no, it's not. I'll put that in there for people like you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> People like me. Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, I don't know how it's done. 
and well, I know how it's done, but I still don't know how it's done. You did the first phase sense. there. You did the first phase. Yeah, I well, know, but like the rest of it, I've got no idea. I know what it is. I mean, that is that a real one? That's yeah. a real one. I know what it is, and I know how it's done now, ish. But I still don't know the moves. And there was things that you were doing, and I'm just like, I've got no idea how he did that. Do you know how he did all of that stuff? No clue. <laughs> exactly. And how much stuff do you see? Um, yeah, I'm asleep half the time. But... But I, I, this isn't the kind of stuff that I do. I don't but even know how useful, to market. Wouldn't it be useful to do something like this in the real world? Wouldn't it be useful to have something like that in your back pocket that you can pull out? Well, yes, it would, because if it wasn't, you wouldn't have hopping halves in your repertoire. Yeah, I've still, I, I always have that in my pocket. Yeah, because mentalism is not always appropriate. No. Oh, sorry, it's got... <laughs> I'm just, I'm, just I'm just trying to think through what you were doing and how the fuck you did it, and I've got no idea, and it's really annoying. It's not. Look, um, look. You know that the purple one is the double facer. Take the purple one, put it on the blue one. Pick them up with your right hand and put them on the palm of your left hand. You now you know this is the double facer, right? Mm -hmm. uh, put it. There. It's easier if you put it that way. Close your hand. Turn over. Take out the double facer and say, "I'm going to take out the blue one." It, put it on top now take it into this hand and show it yeah put it there and say watch yeah, and you close your hand and say where's the blue one and i say there and you say oh did you miss the switch boom that's the first phase the second phase is just a repeat of the first phase so you just take that you put it back on that one so you take that you put it back on that one and you say look i'll do it again look and then close my hand i'm going to take out the uh, the blue one look i'm going to put the blue one over there now you can see the blue ones over there until I squeeze. Watch this. All I have to do is squeeze and they change places again. Boom. Now the third phase, put it back over there. The third phase, you're going to close your hand and this time you're going to take out the real one. It'll come out face down. Yeah? Now take it, there you go, and take it into this hand. So now you're going to say, look, the blue one's here and, and you open up this hand and openly show the purple one's here. But you want to just kind of jut it forward so it ends up there so you can turn it over very good so now you say blue one here close your hand purple one here close your hand and you say where's the purple one and they go here and you open up just this hand and you say no as you close it you want to turn it over and say where's the uh, where's oh the, i thought we were yeah. showing that it no. is still there and you say where's that where's the uh, where's the purple one and they go here and you go no that's the blue one now just it forward again no nope, just it forward again and say so if the blue one's here what's over here and they're going to go purple and you say no the blue one's here the purple one's here. You're already halfway through the routine. <laughs> Genuinely, you're already halfway through the first routine. And 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 I'm not doing the moves. You're doing them. If you could do that, wouldn't you do it? Well, I've got zero confidence when it comes to doing anything like this at all. None whatsoever. In well, any way, shape, or form. We're going to get you learning it. All right. I want you to take it to a gig and give it a review show revisited. But for now... So I could do this with coins and stuff. Yeah. And learning these moves... The whole point this... of this, though, is this is more relatable than the coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. But, like, the moves could be yeah. put to anything. The stuff they? that I'm teaching you can be adapted to anything. Like billets. Yes. He always has to bring it back to mentalism, doesn't he? No, I'm just thinking, how, like, if, I, if I'm going to learn stuff like that that's going to help me with like mentalism -y stuff yeah then that's a good thing yeah so give it a percentage because we've got to move on that can't be 79 well no because i'm going to get you to do it <laughs> um i really like it i think it's great you can obviously do it close up you can obviously i mean i don't think you, it's not really a stage piece is it no um it scares the fuck out of me, but it's very good, and it did for me. Like, even when you showed me that the... That's not... Even when you showed me that there's, there's a double phaser in there and stuff, I still don't know how you do most of it. Um, I don't want to give it 100% because it's his. Oh, you're such an off. <laughs> <laughs> we can give it, like, 99, right? Yeah. 99. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give it 100%. It's got your name on it. 
Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you'd have come out and just like not had your name on the box and gone, this is called Level Up, blah, 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 and done it, I'd have gone, fuck, that's incredible. There's 100%. But I can't give you 100% because it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start teaching Matt how to do level up. So watch next week where I. I was teach trying to him. think. Of, we've got to be able to think of something that's gonna knock it some marks down. We've got to. There's got to be something. Have you got anything? Nope. God, you're fucking useless. Don't look like I'm, I'm, just, sure. I'm just wrapping up now. Okay, go on then. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back next week with another Matt test. Matt will start the what match with 2.5. Oh, are we just going to start? I haven't got to do anything until next week. No, no, no. Next okay. week. I'm going to give you one of these and you can look at the tutorial and then we're going to uh, we're going to start getting you performing this stuff in the real world. But we'll start next week. Yeah. So I haven't got to do anything until next week. No, don't worry about it. Next week we can start. Okay. All right. Anyway, thanks very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll we'll get this one with all the Switch games in it. No, because they're my, <laughs> genuinely my Switch games. This is, the irony is, this is my everyday carry. I do actually carry this around with me. You know I take a Switch to gigs, and you know that I always have one. Ryland has one of these as well. We both have one, and we both do this trick. Um, anyway, we'll be back again next week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm correct. Say, say bye to You could put that on your case, and then you could, like, genuinely have a purse. Yeah, can I get them back, by the way? For your AirPods. Just needed to be. Thanks. Say goodbye. See ya. Say bye. No, not to me, to them. Oh, bye. <laughs> you said so bye. <laughs> we'll be back next week. I'm Craig. He's Matt. That's Jack. Get off the my slight hand's not that good yet. <laughs> You're less James Brown and more, I don't know, Tom Maloney. I'll see you again soon. <gasps> He doesn't mean that, Tom. No, in terms of pickpocketing, I don't think he could pickpocket his way out of paper bag. Neither could you. Give me the thing. <laughs> we'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching. I'm cr get off my shit. <laughs> Will you stop stealing my stuff? We'll see. Get out my pockets. <laughs> off my purse. Get off all of my shit. Give me the game. I back. haven't got it. You lapped it, you little. I actually, I genuinely didn't. You moved it. Oh, you put it on. Somehow you stuffed it under the purse. No. Get off the purse. <laughs> Steven little gypsy. We'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching. I'm Craig. He's Matt. Bye, everyone.